Hi guys, welcome to the Mr. and Mrs. Hamdi channel. Uh, today will be a day in the life video where I'll be showing you how I keep myself productive and happy throughout the day, essentially what I do. Um, so like every other sane person on this planet, you gotta have your morning coffee. So I wasn't that much of a morning coffee person up until my wife got us this Dolce Gusto coffee machine. It is the best thing ever. So you pretty much set the dial to whatever concentration of coffee you'd like and you just let the machine do the rest. I mean just look at the colour of that coffee, it looks like an advert coffee, come on. Um, so yeah, best way to start your day. If you set the dials incorrectly and you give it some messed up concentration of coffee, it'll just overfill and look something like this. But I'll be giving this cup to my wife, so minor. <laughs> While we have breakfast, we like to watch stuff to just chill out. So today we're just watching a K-drama called Hi by Mama. Don't know if you guys know this. Uh, pretty much, the wife has a baby and dies in a freak accident. So the husband is left alone with the baby and ends up marrying another woman. But guess what? typical plot twist the ex-wife comes back to life so now he's got that situation to deal with can imagine my wife sitting next to me literally burning holes into my skull from staring at me just dying to ask me hey what would you do if I died and la da da so yeah um, still pretty fun to watch highly recommended definitely want to watch with your wife. So after breakfast and a bit of R&R, I limber up, stretch a little bit and head out to the balcony to cycle. So yeah, I've set my stationary bike on the balcony due to obvious reasons. I mean, look at the view, who wouldn't? And um, my type of exercise generally revolves around high intensity interval training. So the formula I like to use is five seconds fast, then five seconds rest, then 10 seconds fast and 10 seconds rest. And I go up by five second increments up until I hit the one minute mark. Then I go back down uh, by five second increments, sort of like a, a ladder effect. Um, this uh, method of cycle training really gets my heart rate going crazy and gets me sweating like nothing else. Um, there, are other, there are many other ways you can do HIIT training. For example, just cycling real fast for 30 seconds, then rest for 10 to 20 seconds, then just do that again for five bouts. Do that on repeat. Other than the stunning view, I find it comforting to cycle outside on my balcony because of just how expansive the city of London can be. It sort of humbles you in a way. It makes you realize that your actions in this city or even on this planet are only magnified by our own minds. So one look at this huge city or the blue sky and the universe beyond pleasantly reminds us that our problems, our everyday problems are pretty much insignificant in the grand scheme of things. Also, a side note to that, this only applies to mundane first world problems, nothing too serious. So I don't want to minimalize anyone else's experiences out there in the world, whether, whether they're going through poverty, famine, war or anything like that. So around the afternoon period, I like to keep my mind fresh while I'm in quarantine by studying uh, using this learning tool called Khan Academy. Now, this is, an, this is a great online resource that covers everything. Right now, I'm going through uh, computer science, so I'm learning how to code. Since we live in a digital age, I might as well use this free time to learn how to code. By the way, I forgot to mention that this is all totally free. So you have all this knowledge at your fingertips and you don't have to pay a penny. Now we move on to the food part of the day. I'll let my wife take over from here. So this is salmon, asparagus, broccoli, well one piece of broccoli that was left over in the fridge, <laughs> um, chives, and it's just like a, um, what is it, honey, soy, garlic, yeah. ginger, marinade, and then you add a bit of water as after the salmon has crisps, crisped up on the bottom, and then it just steams everything and just makes it taste so good. Oh, and then this is just like a marinade I've done. This is using my mother-in-law's harissa, which is so good. Oh my god, um, so it's got harissa, paste, t 
tomato puree, um, some raped, cold pressed rapeseed oil, a lot of vegetables, garlic, ginger, mushroom, pepper, everything. And it, we use chicken thighs. So all I do in the afternoon is I'm just gonna um, pop this in the oven and it's good to go for dinner. Pretty Healthy, much. delicious, and warm. Yeah, so. Anyways, bye guys, we need to eat lunch. So I'm the same. Yum. Have a good lunch, everyone. I'm just cutting some tomatoes. We've got some garlic in the pan. Let's we'll just give this a bit, yeah? Yes. And we've got chickpea pasta. And it's just easy to use. And healthier, of course, because it's just like a pulse. And voila, it turned into this. Yeah. 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 So after a long and productive day, I like to reward myself by booting up the 3DS and playing Rayman 2. I normally go on the PS4, uh, but today I just felt like I needed a hit of nostalgia. It's important to do things you enjoy uh, throughout the day, whether it's in the morning or evening. It just gives you something to look forward to. So it, it's, it's all good being productive. But if all you're doing is working all day, you'll just wear yourself out and you pretty much won't enjoy anything. So it's important to spend a little bit of time to yourself, you know, pamper yourself. In my case, gaming is pampering myself. <laughs> in summation, in order to achieve fulfillment and be productive, it is imperative that you give your life structure and routine. Otherwise, the days will go by and before you know it, you'll wonder what month it is, let alone what day it is. All that time would have been lost and you'd be wishing to death you could get that time back because perhaps you could have learned something new or developed a new skill. So just make following a routine your new habit. And you can do this by just setting small goals or tasks throughout the day and make sure to tick them off one by one before you enjoy your downtime. And when it is time to indulge, you'll at least feel like you earned it without the guilt and the resentment for being a lazy bum. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like me to expand on any of the various topics I covered in this video, uh, please comment down below and I'll get on that. Also, if you have any suggestions or any ideas for future videos, please feel free to comment down below. Stay safe guys and salam.